Hello, welcome to day 32 and uh, excuse me my voice but it's like uh, very warm outside and the the pollen allergy is kicking in and so it's always like full but I know it's like a little bit bad and maybe tomorrow it will be gone who knows uh, but let's start with what did I done on day 32 with the thumbnail the thumbnail looks a little different and I move the table around and make it like the face towards the screen. Uh, I think this is a good change because it didn't quite make sense that it face outward the screen. And then I also added a actual sum up wall because you, you you actually never saw what happened during the day uh, if if it's too small. And I actually need to use thicker brush in the future. But yeah, that's it. And to the sum of wall, all I can say is you have a line from top to bottom, if possible, line from side, like a little bit uh, from from left to uh, right. <laughs> it's still difficult, but like if you have the line from from the uh, uh, from like from top left to bottom right and stuff, it's it's kind of okay. I don't know how it all looks like always like this, but yeah, from actual line from top to bottom is uh, more difficult. Uh, I, I'm choosing a green color here. I'm not sure if that's green color, uh, if the green color looks good, but we will find out. And then after this, I proceed with uh, found a tutorial on uh, internet with on YouTube, and which was like uh, your handwriting is the key to uh, uh, drawing better tutorial and it is like this one i will uh, link it under this video too and we've already this video told me that i should write my alphabet well i just will do it with hiragana that's what i decided and yeah it, hiragana has also a lot of s's curves and c's that need to be trained it's and also you you already see it on or yeah, uh, a circle to draw. Uh, maybe next tutorial will be just me drawing uh, circles all the time. Just look how much how much trouble I had to draw a uh, O. And after the hiragana and uh, oh, I, uh, it was only hiragana today, more maybe katakana. But then I proceed with a hair tutorial. Okay, and then the hair tutorial is I pick this one. We'll also link it here and uh, it's maybe good but it didn't well that well but let's start with uh, first brushes that uh, what was recommended like this line marker brush it looks kind of good I, I i don't know about that brushes i, th I still think uh, from past days g pen and mapping pen all you need probably uh, but yeah then i have decided like i was using this brush and flat brush this is the oil oil flat brush and the third brush uh, or shading i think it is an airbrush which is kind of standard one but why it did not went well is uh, that firstly i need an actual head uh, uh, good head bases makes a uh, good hair as it was said in the tutorial and it wa it was not good i had not a good, good head bases like i already had nothing this and uh, yeah kind of need to draw firstly uh, a head which should make sense okay this is hair head yes i i get it i get it but one thing that we can go is that hair needs a point from what it flows and we can just here look for some pictures and you kind of have to decide one point and from there on the hair have always the hair roots is where they like not hair roots but it's always where the hair comes from and it have to go to the original point this is the basic shape then you have uh, you start with a little bit basic -y and then you start adding some more details it's always the same tip you start with basics and add some details and 
Also not too much hair on the back, not too low hair on the back, just right amount, whatever it means. And then we just proceed with... Alright, this is where I stop here is that the hair has to be very s liney and not uh, too straight. That's the only point that I think worth uh, getting in and well, then I shall proceed the next day's drawing ahead. But thank you for watching this day. Wish you a great day, night, afternoon. See you in the next day.